The story of the dinosaurs is a saga spanning over 160 million years of Earth's history, a period filled with dramatic shifts in the planet's climate, geography, and the evolution of life. This chronology of the age of dinosaurs, from their mysterious origins to their abrupt demise, paints a vivid picture of these magnificent creatures that once dominated our planet. Recent scientific discoveries have shed new light on this fascinating era, allowing us to piece together a more detailed and accurate narrative of the rise and fall of the dinosaurs. The dawn of the dinosaurs during the Triassic period, a span stretching from 252 to 201 million years ago, marks a pivotal chapter in Earth's evolutionary narrative. This era, emerging from the shadows of the end Permian extinction, the most catastrophic mass extinction event known to science, set the stage for the rise of the dinosaurs, a diverse group of reptiles that would come to dominate the planet for millions of years. In the wake of the end Permian extinction, which wiped out an estimated 95% of marine species and 70% of terrestrial vertebrate species, the Earth's ecosystems were left devastated, but also ripe for new life to take hold. The Triassic period was a time of recovery and ecological opportunity. It witnessed the gradual re-emergence of biodiversity and the formation of new ecosystems in which the first dinosaurs would evolve. The early part of the Triassic saw the dominance of other reptile groups, like the archosaurs and therapsids, ancestors to modern-day mammals. However, as the Triassic period progressed, the climatic conditions and the changing geography of the Earth, with the supercontinent Pangaea starting to rift apart, created diverse environments that facilitated the evolution of early dinosaurs. One of the most significant characteristics of the Triassic dinosaurs was their bipedalism. Unlike many of their contemporaries, these early dinosaurs walked predominantly on two legs, a trait that likely gave them an evolutionary advantage. Among the earliest known dinosaurs was Herrerasaurus, a small, agile predator that roamed the landscapes of what is now South America. Another early dinosaur, Colophysis, exemplified the typical characteristics of early theropods. A slender, lightweight body, sharp teeth, and a carnivorous diet. The Triassic was also a period of significant evolutionary experimentation, with many dinosaur lineages developing distinct traits. This diversification was driven by the varied habitats present in the vast expanse of Pangaea, ranging from lush tropical areas to harsh desert environments. As Pangaea slowly began to split, these varying environments became more isolated, promoting allopatric speciation. The plant life during the Triassic was predominantly composed of ferns, cycads, and ginkgos, and this flora supported a diverse array of herbivorous reptiles. The presence of these primary consumers set the stage for the evolution of predatory dinosaurs, creating a more complex and dynamic ecosystem. By the end of the Triassic period, the dinosaurs had established themselves as a prominent group of terrestrial vertebrates. Although they were not yet the dominant life form, their evolutionary trajectory was set, leading them towards dominance in the following Jurassic period. The end of the Triassic, around 201 million years ago, was marked by another mass extinction event, though less severe than the one that ended the Permian. This event, however, paved the way for the dinosaurs' ascendance to the pinnacle of the ecological hierarchy in the Jurassic. In conclusion, the Triassic period was a time of significant evolutionary change and ecological restructuring. It was a period that saw the birth of the dinosaurs, setting in motion an evolutionary saga that would see them become the dominant terrestrial vertebrates in the ensuing Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. The Triassic dawn of the dinosaurs was thus a foundational epoch in the history of life on Earth, a period of recovery, adaptation, and the rise of a group of creatures that would captivate human imagination millions of years later. The Jurassic period, spanning from about 201 to 145 million years ago, represents a golden age in the history of dinosaurs, a time when these magnificent creatures reached new heights in size, diversity, and ecological dominance. This era, following the Triassic and preceding the Cretaceous, is often what people envision when they think of the age of dinosaurs, a world where gigantic sauropods and formidable theropods roamed vast and varied landscapes. During the Jurassic, the Earth continued to undergo dramatic geological changes. The supercontinent Pangaea was breaking apart, leading to the formation of the continents Laurasia in the north and Gondwana in the south. 
This tectonic activity created a range of new habitats, from deep seas to sprawling forests, which in turn drove the evolutionary diversification of dinosaurs. One of the most iconic groups of dinosaurs to emerge in the Jurassic was the sauropods. These long-necked, long-tailed giants, like Brachiosaurus, Diplodocus, and Apatosaurus, are some of the largest animals ever to walk the Earth. Their size is a subject of fascination and scientific inquiry, with recent discoveries shedding light on how these behemoths supported their massive bodies, how they fed on the vast quantities of vegetation required for sustenance, and how they reproduced. The sauropods' success is attributed to their unique physiological and anatomical adaptations, such as their enormous, pillar-like legs and their efficient continuous growth teeth, suited for a herbivorous diet. The Jurassic also saw the rise of various theropod dinosaurs, the group that would eventually give rise to birds. This period witnessed the emergence of species like Allosaurus and the early ancestors of Tyrannosaurus. These predators were characterized by their bipedal stands, sharp teeth, and claws, making them some of the top predators of their time. The evolution of theropods showcases a remarkable diversification in feeding strategies, hunting techniques, and social behaviors. Another significant evolutionary development during the Jurassic was the appearance of the first true birds. Archaeopteryx, often considered the earliest known bird, bridges the gap between feathered dinosaurs and modern birds. Its fossils reveal a creature with wings and feathers, yet retaining several dinosaur-like features, providing invaluable insights into the evolution of flight. The flora of the Jurassic period also played a crucial role in the ecosystem. The lush vegetation, consisting of conifers, ferns, cycads, and the first flowering plants, provided ample food for the herbivorous dinosaurs. The coevolution of plants and herbivorous dinosaurs is a fascinating aspect of this period, with each driving the evolutionary trajectory of the other. In marine environments, the Jurassic seas were teeming with life, including plesiosaurs, ichthyosaurs, and early sharks. These marine reptiles were not dinosaurs, but shared the planet with them, dominating the oceans while dinosaurs ruled the land. The Jurassic period was also marked by significant climatic changes. The breakup of Pangaea led to shifts in climate patterns, with the formation of new ocean currents, and the development of more varied and sometimes extreme weather conditions. These changes in climate and habitat played a crucial role in the evolution and spread of dinosaurs across the globe. In conclusion, the Jurassic period was a time of immense growth and diversification for dinosaurs. It was an era that laid the foundation for the ecological dynamics that would define the age of dinosaurs. From the colossal sauropods dominating the land to the evolution of early birds, the Jurassic was truly a golden age, showcasing the incredible adaptability and diversity of these prehistoric creatures. This period, with its iconic dinosaurs and dramatic environmental changes, remains a key chapter in the story of life on our planet. The Cretaceous period, lasting from about 145 to 66 million years ago, stands as the final and perhaps most fascinating chapter in the age of dinosaurs. This era witnessed an extraordinary array of dinosaur species reaching the zenith of their evolutionary development, alongside significant geological and climatic transformations that would eventually lead to their dramatic extinction. During the Cretaceous, the Earth continued its geological reshaping. The breakup of the supercontinent Pangaea progressed, leading to the formation of modern continents and the Atlantic Ocean. This tectonic activity created diverse environments, from deep inland seas to extensive coastal plains and dense forests, which provided varied habitats for dinosaurs to thrive. This period saw the rise of some of the most iconic and well-known dinosaurs. The late Cretaceous, in particular, was marked by the dominance of large theropods like Tyrannosaurus rex, known for its formidable size and predatory prowess. Another significant group was the ceratopsians, like Triceratops, with their distinctive horns and frilled skulls. The armored dinosaurs, such as Ankylosaurus, evolved sophisticated defensive mechanisms. The Cretaceous also saw the diversification of hadrosaurs, often called duck-billed dinosaurs, which were prevalent herbivores of the era. One of the most remarkable aspects of the Cretaceous was the further evolution of avian dinosaurs. 
The period saw the diversification of early birds, descendants of theropod ancestors, leading to the emergence of many modern bird groups. This era's fossil record shows a rich variety of bird life, indicating that feathers and flight were becoming more refined and widespread among these avian dinosaurs. The Cretaceous flora was equally diverse and played a pivotal role in the era's ecosystems. This period marked the first significant appearance of flowering plants, or angiosperms, which rapidly diversified and became a dominant component of the world's flora. Their evolution had a profound impact on the environment, providing new food sources and habitats for dinosaurs and other creatures. In the oceans, the Cretaceous seas teemed with life. Massive marine reptiles like mosasaurs and plesiosaurs dominated the waters, while the skies above were patrolled by large pterosaurs. The oceans also saw the proliferation of diverse fish, invertebrates, and the early ancestors of modern marine species. The climatic conditions of the Cretaceous were relatively warm, with high sea levels that created shallow, extensive continental seas. These warm, humid conditions were ideal for the growth of lush, verdant vegetation and supported a rich and diverse range of life forms. The end of the Cretaceous period, however, brought with it one of the most significant events in Earth's history, the Cretaceous Paleogene KPG, extinction event. This mass extinction event, likely caused by an asteroid impact and exacerbated by volcanic activity, led to drastic environmental changes. The impact event, creating the Chicxulub crater, resulted in widespread fires, tsunamis, and a nuclear winter effect that drastically altered the climate. This event led to the extinction of about three-quarters of plant and animal species on Earth, including all non-avian dinosaurs. In conclusion, the Cretaceous period was a time of immense diversity and evolutionary innovation for dinosaurs. It was an era that saw the rise of some of the most remarkable and well-known dinosaurs, the spread of flowering plants, and the diversification of early birds. The Cretaceous represents the culmination of the age of dinosaurs, ending with a dramatic extinction event that closed the Mesozoic era and paved the way for the rise of mammals and the world as we know it today. The end of the Cretaceous period, around 66 million years ago, was marked by one of the most significant and world-altering events in Earth's history. The Cretaceous Paleogene KPG, extinction event. This catastrophic episode not only brought the age of the dinosaurs to an abrupt close, but also reshaped the entire course of life on our planet. The primary catalyst for this mass extinction event is widely believed to have been a colossal asteroid impact. The evidence of this impact is most clearly seen in the Chicxulub crater, located in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. The asteroid, estimated to be about 10 kilometers in diameter, struck the Earth with such force that it unleashed a global environmental catastrophe. The immediate aftermath of the impact was a scene of unparalleled devastation, massive tsunamis, wildfires, and a blanket of debris thrown into the atmosphere. The fallout from the asteroid impact was catastrophic and far-reaching. The debris ejected into the atmosphere blocked sunlight, leading to a dramatic drop in global temperatures, a phenomenon often described as a nuclear winter. This sudden climate change had devastating effects on the ecosystems of the time. Photosynthesis in plants was severely hindered, leading to the collapse of food chains. The darkness, cold, and acid rain created a hostile environment for life to sustain. The impact of the asteroid also coincided with significant volcanic activity, particularly in the Deccan Traps, a large volcanic province in present-day India. The eruptions spewed vast quantities of lava, ash, and gases into the atmosphere, further exacerbating the climatic effects of the asteroid impact. The combination of these factors created a deadly cocktail that was inhospitable for many species. The KPG extinction event led to the loss of about 75% of all species, including all non-avian dinosaurs. The dinosaurs, which had been the dominant terrestrial vertebrates for over 160 million years, suddenly vanished, leaving behind only their fossilized remains. The end of the dinosaurs and many other species, however, also paved the way for new life to emerge and evolve. In the wake of the extinction, mammals, which had lived in the shadow of the dinosaurs for millions of years, began to diversify and occupy the vacant ecological niches. This diversification of mammals eventually led to the rise of humans millions of years later.
In conclusion, the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event was a defining moment in the history of life on Earth. It marked the end of an era dominated by dinosaurs and set the stage for the age of mammals. This event reminds us of the fragility of life and the profound impact celestial and geological phenomena can have on the course of evolution. The legacy of the dinosaurs, their sudden demise, and the rise of mammals in their wake continue to fascinate and provide valuable insights into the dynamic and ever-changing story of life on our planet. The legacy of the dinosaurs, towering and majestic creatures that once roamed our planet, extends far beyond their reign during the Mesozoic era. Their existence, dramatic extinction, and the subsequent discoveries about their lives have captivated the imagination of scientists and the public alike, profoundly influencing our understanding of the history of life on Earth. The fascination with dinosaurs has led to a relentless pursuit of knowledge, resulting in significant scientific discoveries. Paleontologists have unearthed fossils in diverse corners of the world, each discovery adding a piece to the puzzle of the dinosaurs' existence. These fossils, from the tiniest bone fragment to the most complete skeleton, have provided invaluable insights into the anatomy, behavior, and evolution of these ancient creatures. Advancements in technology have revolutionized our understanding of dinosaurs. Techniques like CT scanning and 3D modeling have allowed scientists to peer inside fossils, revealing internal structures and providing new perspectives on how dinosaurs might have lived. Studies of bone microstructure have given clues about their growth patterns and metabolism, challenging earlier notions about these creatures being slow and cold-blooded. One of the most groundbreaking discoveries in recent times has been the confirmation that birds are the direct descendants of theropod dinosaurs. This revelation has bridged the gap between the prehistoric past and the present, showing that dinosaurs, in a way, are still with us. The study of modern birds has provided insights into dinosaurian behavior, including nesting practices, social behavior, and perhaps even vocalizations. The discovery of preserved soft tissues, such as skin impressions and even possible remnants of blood vessels and cells, has further ignited the scientific community's interest. These findings have opened up new possibilities in understanding the physiology and biochemistry of dinosaurs, offering a more detailed picture of their life than ever before. Additionally, the study of dinosaurs has played a crucial role in our understanding of evolutionary biology and extinction. The end Cretaceous mass extinction, in particular, has been extensively studied as a model to understand the patterns and effects of mass extinctions. This research has become increasingly relevant in the context of modern biodiversity crises and climate change. The cultural impact of dinosaurs is undeniable. They have become an integral part of popular culture, inspiring movies, books, and art, and sparking the imagination of people of all ages. Dinosaurs also play a crucial role in education, serving as an engaging entry point for many into the sciences. In conclusion, the legacy of the dinosaurs is a tapestry woven from their ancient past, the story of their discovery, and their ongoing impact on science and culture. Their existence challenges our understanding of life, evolution, and our place in the Earth's history. As we continue to uncover their secrets, dinosaurs not only shed light on a world long gone, but also hold lessons and warnings for our world today.